Hi everyone, I'm Ville Leppala from Huva. I'm the CEO co-founder. Excited to be uh, with you here today. Um, so, um, food delivery as a market has grown immensely quick. So it's, it's been tripling its size since 2019. However, at the same time, food supply is made through traditional restaurants. And where are these traditional restaurants then located? Well, they're located in city centers where you have a lot of food traffic, um, where it's easy to get your dine in full. However, in fact, most of the people live in residential areas outside of these city hotspots, and because the restaurants are, are not there, the food offering quite typically looks like this. So there's really nothing good to eat in, in suburbs. Well, uh, to help this issue, Huva kitchens turn local communities into culinary hotspots by catering the best dishes from the hottest restaurants from all over the world. So in, in practice, we operate a network of local kitchens that bring great food experiences accessible for uh, people that live outside of these uh, city centers and, and densely populated areas. Um, our food is, is made locally, so that makes it possible also to deliver quite quickly to you. And um, thus, you have a great food experience available close to your home. So in practice, how does it work? Let's take Helsinki as an example. So, so here in Helsinki, first off, we have partnered up with the most popular fast casual restaurants uh, from downtown Helsinki. Second off, uh, we've built um, a network of eight kitchens, so, so real actual kitchens, across the wider metropolitan area. We cook multiple of these restaurant brands within each kitchen, and through the network of these kitchens, we've now finally made great food accessible for these underserved neighborhoods. So, um, from our launch, um, we've gone a long way. So, so we, we launched the first kitchen in September 2021. Since that, we've opened 10 different kitchens in total uh, in two different countries, Finland and in Germany. Uh, within that time, uh, we've fulfilled over 100,000 orders, and actually, in fact, this is already slightly outdated since um, I submitted the deck, so I think we're already close to, to 150,000. Um, but what's actually maybe the most interesting thing here is that we also help local restaurants to expand. So let's take Green Hippo as a case example. So Green Hippo is a really popular restaurant here in downtown Helsinki. They have a couple of locations here in uh, Punavuori, Tölö and Kallio. However, for them, it is really difficult to start expanding, expanding into the wider metropolitan area. So that's why we're to help. So within nine months of operation, we've scaled them into eight different Huva locations with a continuous top-of-the-line growth. And most importantly, all this growth has been made with consistent quality that is on par with their own locations. So if you think about the restaurant industry dynamics, it is actually quite tough. So many of you are probably familiar with software and how easy it's, it's actually to, 
A-B test things, but that doesn't work for restaurants. So if you want to test out a new concept, you actually first off need to sign a five to 10 years lease agreement, then you need to invest 100, 200,000 euros to renovate the place, and not until that you get to test whether your concept works or not. And in fact, not too many work. So 80% of restaurants go out of business within the five first years of operation. So not an easy equation for these entrepreneurs. And thus, our value proposition is extremely strong. Um, William, who's the founder of Green Hippo, um, an early partner for us, is actually somewhere here today. So uh, if you come across, feel free to uh, say hi and ask for his, his experiences. So how, how is this all then made possible? Um, scaling an operationally heavy business can be super tough. And, and we've made it possible through technology. So our kitchen technology is focusing to tackle com complexity within the operation. And that has made, us, made it possible for us to operate in locations where traditional restaurant models cannot work. Um, in addition, it also makes it possible to cook multiple different restaurant brands and concepts under one roof. And it also makes it possible for consumers to order multiple brands within one delivery. If we think about the philosophy for our tech development, it's, it's really much about enabling our chefs to focus on the most important thing in a kitchen, which is the quality and joy for making the best dishes. So this is really much a people business, and you really want to focus into the most important thing, which is great food, great quality, and essentially a great customer experience. Despite we've had a lot of progress this year, uh, we're still taking our first step to become a category-defining company. Fortunately, we're not alone in this journey, so we've had a privilege to work with, uh, um, with industry-leading investors, including General Catalyst, who we actually met last year in Slush. So, uh, I'm um, excited to be here once again. Thank you. That was all from my part.